guys i'm gonna show you how to make a three hours rain video here we go that's pixabay it's free to use tool it's a royalty free website where you can download any video audio any illustration if you like for our purposes we're gonna download a video i mean the most common one is the rain video so let's try and do the same thing right because you may be able to relate now what we're really looking for is a 15 seconds or a 10 seconds clip uh, shorter the better I think we can cross a 15 second here so here we go so we found one this is not too bad looks great too now like i said it is a royalty free website so you don't have to pay for a single cent however they do ask for a credit or accredit the creator you know it's out of your own interest i don't want to do it because that's how they and the recognition or they may earn some sort of income through it so all there's no attribution required it's free for commercial use and it's free to download so all i'm going to do is now click on it now you can download a different format but the resolution that i need is 1920 and mp4 format and that's a file size so all i'm going to do click on that download done now that will take a few seconds and now we're ready the file is ready now all i'm going to do now is go check the file it's out here click on that cut go back here and paste it here I'm gonna rename this file into 15 seconds now you got the file name and you got the file size and you got the length of the video clip here as well so it is an mp4 format now now next thing we need is the audio again I'm gonna go back to web browser click on pixabay audio download a royalty free music uh, same thing I'm gonna type in rain Let's try this one out. It's not too bad at all. It's about a minute and 10 seconds. It's a little bit longer than our video, but I think you can edit it. It's pretty good. Let's try this out. So all I have to do now, same thing. I'm going to quickly download. But again, here, you don't have to pay for it, but you can donate or you can add a credit uh, in your video description, such as music by LSFM from Pixabay. So I'm going to be doing that. All right, now that we've got the audio and your video downloaded, uh, next thing we got to pass them together the first tool we need is VSDC editor which is again a free software to use I'm gonna be quickly opening that uh, which I've already downloaded let's take a few seconds to load depends on how fast your computer is Mine it's a little bit slower although I'm, being, I'm using a gaming computer but it's a little bit slower for some reason anyway All right, so let's close this out. Start a new project. Don't worry about that. Do that again. Don't worry about that. Cancel that. Start a new project. Finish. All right, now that we've got that platform open, first thing we need to do, we just got to add the audio. Let's try the audio, yeah, whichever you would like. I'm going to go back to the folder where I've downloaded. Actually, the audio is still here. Let's download here. Click on that. Press the position, leave everything as it is. So starting off at zero seconds, which is great. Next thing we need is add the video. Click on that. Now we know where we save the video. Go back to this folder, go the 15 seconds clip. And what you'll see is actually, it was probably gonna start up here because I've got the cursor position here, but you can always move it, actually start it up here. But all you can do is create a new layer by dragging and dropping. Now we've got that file here. Now, you can obviously see the audio is over 60 seconds, it's a 70 seconds to be more precise, but the video is only 15 seconds. Uh, I can reduce this, because we want to do this very quicker, right? Um, so all you have to do is, instead of changing 60 seconds, I'm gonna bring it back to 15 seconds. How you do that, but click on that, then click on the property windows. Now you can see the duration here, You've got 70 seconds and 0.5 of a milliseconds. So all you have to do now, change that into 15 seconds. So I'm gonna change it to zero. Again, 15 seconds, change it to zero, zero, and press enter. Now you can see I've compressed that into 15 seconds, same thing as the audio too. Now that we got these two together and job done, all you have to do now is click on this uh, export project click on web for YouTube and click on export project so just take a few more seconds and that should be downloaded pretty quickly in the same folder where we had the rain um, video 
I don't want, do I want to upload on video YouTube yet? Not yet, because we will be making this into a three hours video. Say no, and then open the folder. Now we have project two. 15 seconds of video clip in MP4 format that we needed. And the profile name, we're gonna change again, rain. 15 seconds, formatted. All right, with audio and video. So that's basically, let's check that. close this video here all right the next tool we'll be needing is handbrake i've already downloaded that again got to open the video oh sorry app all i have to do now is drag and drop the file now what we're going to do now is leave the format as mp4 um we're going to change we don't going to change the whole lot of settings here all we really need to do is leave the format and change click on this web optimize because it is good for youtube uh check out one of the things um here pass through common metadata you, you won't see that in your previous version of handbrake but the new version you'll be able to see it i'll leave that ticked um the rest everything same now you got all the storage dimension size aspect ratio everything looks fine you don't have to change any of these except for the video now frame rate per second leave it 30 per seconds because uh, there's not much happening in this video really so i think i'll leave that there uh and the quality here so now you may want to change this to 25 if you have a few things going on in your video then i would say like let's say a lot of jumping around moving around moving things then you go to 30 rf in, 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 but in our case there's not much going on so i would just leave it at 25 um that's all you have to do then all you need to do last thing is start encode now you will see here it's preparing to encode take another few more seconds once it's done you'll be seeing a message saying q finished means it's converted the format to m4v format and that's all we really need to do give a few more seconds done now go back to the same folder now i've got the format of one I've got the file format so what i'm going to do now is m4v look if naming file name convention is purely for my reference purpose so i don't get confused you can do how you want you can delete the previous files whichever you like whatever you like you can do it so I'm going to leave that as it is. And so this is the format that I need. Um, next, the final two that we'll be needing is MKV. MKV tool mix GUI. So this is the tool we're going to be needing to patch the all the patch the same video over and over again and make them do three hours video. Now, um, all it's going to do now is just minimize it and then grab this file here and drag and drop. Now I've got the file here. Now 15 seconds, right? So we, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change the 50 seconds into one minute, and then one minute into 10 minutes, and 10 minutes into 60 minutes, and 60 minutes into, which is an hour, an hour into three hours. Simple, right? Let's start with our one minute. So 15 seconds is four times that gives you 60 seconds, which is one minute. So I press that OK, append. So you can leave that append six times, sorry, four times. So 15 times four, 60 seconds. And that's great. So now I'm gonna do that here. You can change that to one minute. And four B if you want it, or just delete the whole thing. And all you have to do now is start multiplexing. Done. Now you got that file format. Since I've changed the file name, so I'm gonna change that to MKV. You got the one minute. So you can see the one minute video there file name done now we're gonna go back to the mkv tool again delete the whole thing now we're gonna drag and drop the one minute video and make that into a 10 minutes video same thing right drag it 10 times and then done three four five six seven eight nine ten so I'm gonna leave that to 10 minutes. MKV, and then start multiplexing. A few more seconds, done. <laughs> Guys, it's crazy how quick it is. That's insane. 10 minutes video, we've got that. Go back again, <laughs> select all, delete them. And now drag and drop the six times to make into 60 minutes, which is about an hour. Five and six here we go and then what i'm going to do one hour 
and then press start multiplexing a few more seconds now just mind you the file size is pretty big right so that's why it took a little bit more longer which is just a few seconds more to be more precise uh, a 463 mb file um, an hour file an hour long file was converted now next thing the final thing you're going to do is change that into three hours you get the logic all you have to do now is go back here delete the whole thing rain one hour two hours and three hours what do you do last thing three hours mkv start multiplex this might take about a 10 to 20 seconds trust me guys if you do the same thing it with avsdc editor or any other tool it's gonna take you forever i mean we're doing the whole thing probably under 15 minutes or 10 minutes it's insane and job done now we have a three hours video done let's check that video look at that and that's how you do it guys this is easy easy as